Hi, I'm Paul Steinbrook, and welcome to OurChurch.com's monthly SEO update for October 2016, keeping you up to date on what's happening in the world of search and how it affects you. This month's update is all about Google because Google has released three major search engine algorithm changes in the past six weeks. Penguin, Possum, and Phantom. One or more of these has probably affected your website. These updates can often be very technical, so I'll do my best to explain what they are in plain English and explain how they could affect you and your organization. All right? First, Google Penguin 4 update. After two years, Google released its latest and final Penguin update. Penguin is the name of a special algorithm Google introduced several years ago to combat spammy links people were creating to try to trick Google into improving their search rankings. This update is much different than previous Penguin updates for three specific reasons, or in three specific ways. First, Google is no longer penalizing websites that have spammy links linking to them. Instead, if Google looks at the quality of a web page the link is on, and if it determines that page is of low quality, it totally ignores the link. So that link won't help the search rankings of the web page it links to. Second, because Google is ignoring links on low quality pages and no longer penalizing uh, those sites that are being linked to, any sites that received a penalty the last time Google did a Penguin update, have had their penalties removed. These sites will probably see an improvement in their search rankings, but not back to pre-penalty levels because the links that got them their pre-penalty uh, search rankings are now being ignored. Hope that makes sense. Third, Google has made uh, Penguin a real-time part of the Google, Google algorithm. So there will no longer be future Penguin updates that cause massive changes in search rankings as sites are penalized or unpenalized. Instead, Penguin will continuously look for links on low quality pages and ignore them when it finds them. If you're wondering what kinds of links Google considers spammy, they include things like links on unmoderated blog posts, discussion forums, and directories. Whew. That's just the first Google update. All right, ready for the second one? Number two is the Google Phantom quality update. Um, the next Google update I want to talk about is Google's quality update, which is sometimes called the Phantom update because at first Google wouldn't even admit um, it had made an update. And then once they did, they wouldn't say anything about it. The update is also referred to as the quality update because it penalizes websites that give visitors a low quality experience. Some of the characteristics of sites penalized by the phantom update include um, sites that have intrusive ads on them, um, pop-up windows that cover most of the content, pages with just a tiny bit of content followed by lots of related content links, deceptive ads, and ads not labeled as ads. Um, there probably aren't many of our users or readers who are doing any of these things intentionally. However, if you are using the free version of our WPEZ website builder and your site has ads on it, this could be an issue for you. So I highly recommend upgrading to WPEZ Premium, which will remove the ads and give both your users and the search engines a better experience. Third this month, the Google Possum local update. Yes, another animal in the mix here. Um, the third and final update I want to talk with you about is the Google update um, that they made to their maps and their local search rankings. Some people are calling this update Possum. This impacts local organizations like churches, schools, and local businesses. Google has not said anything officially about this update, so everything that we know about it is based on observation. Um, there are two observations I think we can um, state with a high degree of certainty, and I want to talk about those. First, Google is filtering results based on address and affiliation. 
Okay, um, an example of this is in the past, um, a medical practice with two doctors might have three local listings in the search results, one for each of the doctors plus one for the practice, all with the same address. Now, Google will often show just one of those listings in its search results, but, and um, in doing that, it provides more diversity in the results that it's showing, and that's probably a good thing. However, we are seeing some unintended consequences for some churches. If your church shares space with another church, Google may not show both churches in its, so, in its local search results. Or um, if a church closes its doors and then another church buys the building and moves in, the listing of the closed church may cause the listing of the new church not to appear in the search results. Um, so if your church is in one of these situations, you may need to contact Google or work with a professional SEO to get your church's local listing uh, displayed in Google search results. Now, one thing I want to point out is this does not appear to be affecting churches that share space with organizations in different categories, such as churches that have a school at their location or churches that rent space in a public school or a theater. All right. Well, um, that is all for this month's update. Remember, your website and its search rankings can have a huge impact on your ability to live out your mission. I hope this update has given you some insight and, in, and ideas into how to do that better. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post a comment below. Um, we'll be happy to respond to those. And if there's anything else we here at OurChurch.com can do to help you live out your mission online, please contact us. We'd love to help you. Thanks for watching.